Okay, this is a well station using an Arduino Uno and the whole thing is programmed in C as you can see there's evidently a lot of wires in there and like you could easily miss out a wire and the whole thing would stop working I mean not the whole thing but a part of it would stop working and finding that is a hard thing to do but I would go on and explain what each different sensors are doing I'm using an LCD module and five different sensors up here this is a temperature sensor it's detect it's sensing the temperature and humidity at the same time this is a real-time clock and it, as you can see it has a battery on top of it like a coin battery so even when the weather station is off it keeps a reference time and when you plug it back on it gives you that real time this is a vibration sensor module this thing is nothing fancy it wouldn't give you a Richter scale it might tell you if there's an earthquake because it it has a small circuit in there and the circuit disconnects when the thing moves so it works as a vibr earthquake sensor too like if there's a small tremor it would the light would go off and there would be an alert sign on the LCD module but there would be no fancy sounds going off and or anything and that's a network module we're using a 2.4 gigahertz network module for the class and the reason why there's a network module right here because I'm sending data right now nobody's receiving and I'm receiving nobody's data but I did it for a class and on our final day of the project we had to demo our project and we had 20 different weather stations where we were sending data and receiving data at the same time so that was really fascinating to see all the data being accumulated and you receiving data, data, data too and that's why I have that there and I don't know if you can see the LCD yet but I'll zoom in in a bit and on right there I have a pressure sensor which is sensing the pressure and it works as a temperature sensor too but I had to get a different temperature sensor because I needed to sense humidity too at the same time and that pressure sensor reads pressure in pascals the temperature sensor reads temperature in celsius which all makes sense but because i go to school in us i had to all convert all of it into inch mercury and fahrenheit and so okay i'll i'll zoom in and you guys can see the rest of it and focus all right so as you can see there's a date time temperature fahrenheit pressure inch mercury altitude in meters and humidity in percentage and as i've said before that sense sign right there is actually saying that you're sending data and the whole program works in a way where you're sending data every five seconds so that works as a reference time where the LCD screen has a refresh rate of ev every five seconds I don't know how, how much that is in Hertz but the LCD is refreshing every five seconds and what else and okay I'll, I'll demonstrate the earthquake sensor earthquake sensor or like vibration sensor if you just flick it see as I've told you it works so it gives you an alert sign and the red light goes off yeah I just have it loose as I've told you before it all goes frenzy when you have one of one of many things loose anywhere could be loose anywhere so that's like you have to always have to make sure that none of the wires are loose it would be fancy just to have all those soldered in a board but for the moment and for the sake of doing just one project I, I had to use jumper wires and not spend a lot of money having like 3d printed boards and all that but yeah as you can see all those are all those information are displayed and I'm also sending data to any network receivers around me at the same time so even like with this project you could 
you could have like a remote weather station and have the LCD somewhere else and with two network modules you could like receive data from the weather station and feed data into the LCD and you can have it in your room and where you're where just you're just looking at it and it would give you all this information like what time it is like what temperature pressure altitude and like also you could collect data over time if you have a small SD card attached to your board you could even collect data over time and do a plot where you are seeing like if the pressure is changing over time then you can predict like if it's gonna be rainy cloudy or sunny and if there's gonna be good weather turning out in the next couple of hours or not and all that so it actually gets really fancy from here and you could do all kinds of things that you could imagine with the weather station yeah believe me this is not a boring project it's, it's a really fascinating project like the project that I did before the was like a crossroad light system and it was I would say it was much trivial using it, doing a light system this thing is more complicated because you have to like work with individual sensors and work with one at a time and see how if they work out or not and also you have to see if the library fits libraries work with their system and also each sensor has their own inputs so you can like at times you cannot really change what inputs they are because the LCD uses six IOs and you could work around with them but the problem is with, with the barometric pressure and the real-time clock you need annual I annual inputs for a5 and a4 and you can't really change them because they came with that input code and also the like the network module uses pins 10 to 4 10 to 13 and like I couldn't find any way to work around that so it's really important like the best you could do is get a Arduino Mega and like th then you have like a bunch of pins to work with but working with that is just fine and yeah I'll post like what libraries I use what type of sensors I used in the link below and you can see it and I'm glad if this helps thanks